apparently they paid influencers to attend this uh, rally. That's what I heard from uh, <laughs> Wired. They made a report. Right. Um, so TikTok covered travels, hotels, meals, I shuttle rides. I didn't get the offer. The I didn't get that offer. <laughs> You're the most avid supporter of TikTok. I'm just, I got a sign. <laughs> I love TikTok. Yeah. Ahead of TikTok, uh, CEO's much anticipated testimony in the United States House Representatives today. Oh, House Representatives. Uh, the embattled tech firm conducted a full court press on Capitol Hill. This included paying to bring TikTok influencers face to face. With their home state lawmakers, staffers, and journalists, as well as sharing their journey with their collective audience of some 60 million followers, TikTok covered travel, hotels, meals, and shuttle rides to and from the Capitol for dozens of influencers, according to the creators and the company itself. Each social media star was invited to bring a plus one, whether they flew in from Oklahoma uh, or New York or drove there. Uh, what there was something kind of recent like this. It was a little bit different, but when you had the bill C eleven was mm -hmm. it here in Canada? They were trying to, they were asking if I would go talk to lawmakers here because people were yeah. pissed about this particular thing. And uh, I don't remember if it's C eleven or anyway. Yeah, and some YouTubers did go, and some YouTubers that actually did a great job of sort of articulating the issues with that particular bill. Mm -hmm. uh, so so what did you have? You had uh, a protest going on outside of keep TikTok, get rid of TikTok, keep TikTok. TikTok um, stars rallying. So that's the stars dressed in suits? Weird. I'm not too sure. I couldn't find any pictures. Why does that image, why do these images look AI generated? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was like a huge protests i think it was just like a little peaceful rally my voice thrives on tiktok hashtag keep tiktok yeah well this was their move i don't think they got a big enough group they got like a dozen or so there i think they needed a bigger group well i think so too. to make the case oh boy can we hear what they're saying is there a video of it um let's see What would you, how would you even search that? T uh, TikTok. That image. TikTok influencer protest. <laughs> protest. Rally. Why is there no video of it, actually? Now that I think about it, there's just a couple frames of, what if you go to videos? What if you click on videos on the far right? Or is this risky? Turn your screen off first. Okay. Don't broadcast your screen to the world. <laughs> Nothing. What is this conspiracy? Yeah. There's not a single video of these dozens of influencers out front of... TikTok didn't pay for videos. <laughs> Maybe I could find it on TikTok. Hold on one second here. Uh, now you're thinking, Will. Or on YouTube. Up, re-uploaded from TikTok. Uh -huh. TikTok influencer. Okay, here we go. Rally. Oh, this is NBC. TikTok creators who have come here oh. to oppose a potential. Oh, here we go. Ban. I'm here today to rally creators. Oh, here we go. In opposition to to banning TikTok, which is one of the most effective digital organizing tools Democrats have. I'm a mental health advocate who's been able to use Whoa. TikTok to build community and democratize mental health resources and education by sharing my own experiences. As a science teacher on the app, TikTok helps me break down the four walls of my classroom and educate Whoa. all over the world. TikTok isn't just an app. This is a community of people whose lives have been cultivated and created by hardworking people that deserve a space online. I am. <laughs> Not a lot of videos, though. I got one here a day ago, South China Morning Post. Okay. Uh, or NBC News on YouTube. If you just search TikTok Influencer Rally on YouTube, and maybe we'll see them yelling and screaming. 
Those people seem to they seem to have had a yeah, you can pick whichever one you want. Like they seemed really polished. I'm getting all set up there. Could get a couple signs made. As air around China. Okay. Hmm. Seems pretty subdued. Yeah. Here we go sufficient infrastructure around the technology to make sure that U.S. data is protected. So I think while those concerns are valid and like, I myself have had them, I think to hear what TikTok is doing is giving me reassurance about, you know, using the platform and kind of knowing that my audience is also safe using the platform. I will say that TikTok has inspired every creator to be an entrepreneur and to make money and to pay they got every demographic covered share and, and, and financial advisors check right those now, gloves TikTok accounts sharing their information and their their advice to creators and users to better um, inform them about how to make better business decisions wouldn't TikTok be fighting to protect half of America's lives it is the number one downloaded app and I understand that it may have a Chinese, have Chinese origins, but this is American people, American employees, American businesses, American lives. Okay. Well, that didn't go so well. No, why? This rally, I mean. But you're just saying it's too slim? Yeah, I yeah. mean, TikTok has over 100 Mil, 150 million users in the US and this is what they come up with <laughs> there's like 50 people you saying they should have had a bigger budget well the monetize the monetization so I thought they would be younger they, right? well you can't fly out a bunch of minors well they flew them out like this is all expenses still. paid over here oh, geez. I mean it they is need to work harder no it is right they they I guess you could have flown out whole families that gets expensive yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not looking good right so, now. I'm just gonna say that right now. I believe there probably is some kind of way to uh, through so, through some type of merger or partial acquisition or something with a some kind of U.S. based tech giant that yeah. could figure out a way to. Uh, manage things in a manner that's more satisfactory to the American public, North American public. Because they did try with Oracle by having their data stored in U.S. servers. I know. But who really knows? That's what. That's the who point. Who really knows? That's the point. Who really knows and who's capable of policing it? And they may find it easier in the end to just say, "See you later." Uh, you that know, they, might be the easy. Option. They they might. They they might just do it. It would be somewhat unprecedented. Obviously, we have the the precedent of Huawei, which would ha which be pretty much straight up ban, and then also uh, had difficulties from a trade perspective, even getting components from American companies to continue to build sure. their products, even for other markets. Mm -hmm. So, like a real pinch on that, um, and maybe. Maybe we see something similar in this case. Maybe it just took a while. Mm -hmm. Remains to be seen. It just it does feel like we're one or two steps away in terms of like uh -huh. some big controversial thing happening or some proof or some sort of data piece or some sort of and YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat are gonna pick it up right away. All those users. Well, so yeah. they're ready. YouTube, YouTube's been ready, dude, with their yeah. shorts and all the rest of it. YouTube's been ready. Instagram's Welcome been, with been open ready. Arms. You, th you think Mark? You think Mark Zuckerberg's watching any of this stuff, getting a kick out of it? He's like, ah, yeah. that was me. He's. Uh, I know what that chair feels like. <laughs> he has popcorn. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey man, you. What are your? What's the over under? What do you? Th what do you think? Yes or no? He he caught. He watched a couple oh, minutes of that. Yeah, definitely. He watched a couple minutes of that. In a he? private room, by himself in the dark. He watched a couple of minutes of that. Naked. Didn't he? Did, he <laughs> wait, hey man. Yeah. Yeah. He watched a couple of minutes of that. Didn't he? Uh -huh. 
Mr. Facebook, Mr. Instagram, Mr. Meta. It's like, oh, those days. Yeah. And he's just, and, he, and, and he's also just kind of ready. Yeah. I recommend waiting. everyone to kind of watch it, the five hour ordeal. I'm going to finish watching it. You're going to do five hours. Because it is, um, it is something. quite entertaining. It's something. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that's a, a specialty stream for us, Will. You think we can pull it off? All five hours? <laughs> yeah. You think we can do it? Uh, a I'll special, get my stretchy pants. A special live once-in-a-lifetime event, mm. a marathon, mm. a TikTok Congress marathon, mm. and it's the stream, and it's you and I, and maybe we take breaks, but if people were doing it with the Johnny Depp stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because that was painstaking. That was... That was something. Oh, you know what? Uh, what's happening right now is the Gwyneth Paltrow ordeal. I don't know anything about it. So a couple of years ago, she smashed into um, like a skier. Okay. And now the skier is looking for a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the trial is happening right now. Live. Wow. Live. And she has to testify. So oh, it's kind of like geez. a Johnny Depp. She has Never to testify about crashing into another skier on a ski hill? Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Well, that's going to be ugly. Well, so. people have their different opinions on this TikTok thing before, you know, we move on to the next. Like, some people think it's a money thing. Some people think it's a politics. Some people think it's truly a privacy thing. Some people think it's a safety thing. And You want to know what I learned in my many years on this earth? It's probably a little bit of all those things. Okay, yeah. Well said. That's what I'll say about that. Uh -huh.